Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Bob Plackno reporting to you from my comfy abode right here in Chicago, Illinois. Welcome to the Bob Plackno Show. Thanks for tuning in. Glad to have you. All right. This is the second ticket I had just purchased with the proceeds from the $50 Towering Titties ticket just yesterday. All right. Um, sorry I cut you guys short. Um, I didn't want the uh, previous video to be too long. I know you guys and gals have a lot to do. You're busy little beavers. You know, some people say, well, Bob, you know, you, you, you split the video uh, to two videos to get views, views, views. All right, listen. If Regardless, all right, um, I'm, I'm providing a service to make people laugh. To make people angry. You know, I'm, I'm providing emotions for all. Fucking globally. All right? I'm not some fucking asshole on the street shaking a cup. All right? And pestering people. All right? I am providing a service. All right? Now that I got that out of the way, let's get down to business. Oh, it's upside down. Oh, 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 oh that's not you. That's me. All right? This, like I said is the $30 Illinois Lottery $10 million cash bonanza. There's $10 million top prizes. Oh, no shit. There's 15 $1 million prizes. You know, I, I would love to just, I would love to nickname this, well, let me see, in general, Bob Placno would love to invent a scratch ticket for his state's lottery. I would call it a hell of a ought to win. Yeah. Hell of a ought to win. Hashtag hell of a ought to win. That's just, it, it instills hope in every gambler's future. Near future, hopefully. All right. This is a matching number game. There are the instructions. Read them carefully. All right. They may or may not happen. Winning numbers on this particular ticket number 13 are 42, 20, 40, 37, 56, 51, and 22. Double deuce. Yeah. All right. Better than a goose egg, bitches. All right. We have ticket 13. Yes. A little proof. And you can win up to 30 times. All right. Let's, uh, let's dive in. The water's beautiful. Let's zoom out. Let me zoom out. Bear with Bob. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. All right. We are in search of a back-to-back, -back, to, well, back-to-back -back winners this afternoon. All right. We are looking for these numbers and, of course, the fucking symbolic symbols. All right. Row one. Fifty seven. 38, 19, 2, and a 40 Von. Lots of one-offs. They're teasing the fuck out of me. All right, there's another one-off, a.k.a. a Jag-off. We got a 36, another Jag-off. 34, 5, 5. And a 40 tree. All right. Row tree, we have a 15. Niner. 59. 16. And a 25. Row four. We got a 60. Ooh, what a big number. I believe this... The numbers go up to 60. That's the highest number you can get on this ticket is 60. All right, we have a 7, 46, 18, and a van. Next row, 52, 35, 33. Eleven. And a 26. Final row, motherfuckers. We got a 32. Tree. 
17, 54, and a 24. All right, this big lackluster son of a bitch is a loser. Yes, in fucking deed. It is a big fucking goose egg. A big fucking L in the Bob Black no loss column. All right, but before I get too angry, let me explain something to you. I had mentioned uh, the video that I did a couple years ago. Well, I was pretty accurate. The video in which I won a significant amount of money, it was, it's titled A Huge Winner, was uploaded on April 12th, 2015, all right, a significant winner. I'm not going to say the dollar amount. If I mentioned it, keep it in your craw. For all y'all that want to view it that haven't, the title is $10 million cash bonanza, huge winner, exclamation. Yeah, it was fucking monumental. I scratched it. At an undisclosed location, I was not in my comfy abode. All right, so, without further ado, I've got shit to do, all right? Yeah, I just scratched my nuts, you know, and I sniffed my fingers. My fingers, from scratching my nuts, smells like fucking goat cheese. Get off your fucking high horse, all right? Stop pretending like you don't know what, I, what I'm talking about. I know everybody scratches themselves, but there's a lot of people also that scratch themselves and then sniff their fingers in which they were scratching themselves with, all right? Guys, gals, everybody does it, all right? I, now that we're on this subject, let me tell you, let me explain what else I do. When I pick my nose in my car and I pull out a fucking butte, a beauty, I take that and I wipe it on the side of my seat. Yeah, I save it for later. It's sort of like a trophy case for fucking epic boogers, all right? And there's a lot of them. I need a fucking snow scraper to get them off my fucking seat. All right, so I'll say it again. Without further ado, I've got shit to do. This is Bob Placknow signing off, and as always, have a monumental motherfucking day.